been at this for an hour. You're not going to solve the case with a hairdryer. When I was in El Salvador, there was a medicine man who would charge women to participate in his purification ritual. It's going to be a dirty story. They would gather in the village square, he'd build a fire, and they would dance until the ground began to bleed. Wait a second, you're saying that blood would come out of the ground? The villagers believed it was magic. They didn't know that several days earlier, the medicine man had poured cow's blood on the concrete. The heat from the fire caused the blood in the substrate to liquefy and ooze up through the cement. Ha! Ah, look at that! DNA will prove it, but I believe this is Lucky Miller's blood. Melvin Carville thought he cleaned the evidence out of existence. Not on my watch. Not on your watch, is right. It's going down. It was the coolest trick ever. It was no trick. It's a simple matter of chemistry and physics. Dr. Brennan was right. It's Charles Milner's blood. Well, is this enough to arrest Melvin Carville for murdering Milner? It lets us know that Milner was killed there, but it doesn't give us any indication of who might have done it. There are some anomalies within this pool of blood. Prove the killer kind of anomalies? Well, there are a few areas that are more dense than others, but if I pull out the areas that are less dense, I get this. Some kind of pattern. Why would those areas be denser than the rest of the blood? My guess is some kind of compression. Let's get Dr. Brennan. Like on your legs. I believe this is where the killer kneeled down to clean up the blood. There's one patella and these are his toes. What's this perfectly round thing? Artificial knee. Oh. See if you can measure the tibia. Forty-five centimeters. Assuming an average size foot and a tibia of approximately forty-five centimeters. Melvin Carville fits those dimensions perfectly. Sweetie, if he has an artificial knee, then you have pretty much sealed the deal. These are blobs. Those are your knees, Melvin. If those are my knees, then what are these knuckly things in the middle of my legs? Well known fact, you see. Knee prints are just as unique as fingerprints. The hell they are. Now, especially in your case, since you had a knee replacement. Which one was it? Your right knee? Those are blobs. You can't even prove they're from knees. You're trying to con me into confessing. Really, you feel the need to confess, Melvin? Huh? You don't strike me as that kind of guy. What's that? A brick of cash. Never saw it before in my life. Hmm. We found it hidden beneath your floorboards. It traced back to the money that was stolen from the old lady. You and Lucky found what the home invaders couldn't. And you wanted all that to yourself. So you murdered Charles Milner with your claw hand. But you made one big mistake. Yeah, what was that? You pissed off my partner here. What's even more damning is the evidence that you hid the evidence. Sorry, I'm in this business too, and I know how it works. You bring in the suspect. Get him to confess. We didn't bring you in to confess. Then why am I here? Because I wanted to say something to your horrible face. What? Now? Now. Gotcha. You're under arrest. Gotcha. You got it, folks. Gotcha. Translated into Farsi, it's awesome. 
Russell. <laughs> I knew it was him. Oh, you're right. The problem is, I didn't know why I knew it was him. Well, it'd be important things. We don't really know why. I do not agree with that. Oh, my love. I know exactly why I love you. Really? Okay, why don't you give me your top three reasons? Uh, first, you love me. Second, you love Christine. Uh-huh. Third, you... It's mysterious, right? <laughs> no, let me gather my thoughts. That's exactly why we have music and poetry bones. Third, your physicality is remarkable. Now, you give me three of your top reasons for loving me. I don't have reasons. <sighs> what? I think what you just said is very romantic. What can I say? I'm a romantic bones, shall we? Uh, we shall. Wine and dine, candle top. <laughs> what does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs>